so what's up it's me priscilla now we are going to talk about different size sketchbooks today now when i say different set size sketchbooks you either have a big sketchbook you have a standard 8x10 sketchbook or maybe you have like a little sketchbook now the thing that's important is the whole point of this video is can sketchbooks affect the way and size that you draw like the other day uh one of my students came into hobby lobby and she bought a ginormous sketchbook it was a big big sketchbook like a 16 by 20 sketchbook i don't know but she said she's gonna fill it all up and of course the next class she came in and she had these ginormous drawings and it just got me thinking can sketchbooks affect the size that we draw in if we get a teeny tiny sketchbook does that mean we draw teeny tiny or if we get like for example this tone tan paper that you see right now so tone tan paper already has a huge challenge with not only finding the low lights and the shadows but it also has a huge challenge of finding the highlights with like a light pencil or white gel pen so tone tan is a challenge in itself but this is a five by eight tone tan sketchbook now i have been drawing on this size tone tan paper for a very long time i've also had like the eight the i mean the nine by 12 tone tan sketchbooks but with gray toned and tone tan paper by strathmore you um it just it depends how much intricate details you're doing because if you're coloring out a tone tan sketchbook obviously you want the actual picture to pop but you see i've always been able just to fit on one character per five by eight but you see i drew the entire full character now this could be different for little lo little low lo lo <laughs> sketchbooks such as this moleskin that i have this moleskin is five by i mean no 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 i think it's three by four so it's teeny tiny now Okay, let's say that you want to jump into a new style, like a chibi style. Who knows what you want to jump into? But the thing is, I think that little sketchbooks encourage us all to draw little. In this sketchbook before, I got it as a gift from my friend Wes. And he... So when I got it, I started to fill it up with lyrics. Because at the time, he was really into typography and then i was into typography and we both challenge each other to get better at typography so at the beginning of this whole entire sketchbook i did nothing but uh the lyrics to famous disney songs and i drew out typography and everything but the thing is if you're getting a sketchbook it probably determines the way you draw so you're probably going to draw really tiny in a tiny sketchbook now it doesn't have to be a moleskin there's plenty of tiny sketchbooks out there but that's something to really consider when you are picking out a sketchbook do you want to learn how to draw small maybe you would draw ginormous and you fill up the entire page and you go off the pages and everything this is a way for to train yourself to get a smaller sketchbook so this is a step down from the the five by eight so now we're on this little itty bitty three by four it could be your personal thing to go ahead and draw small it's your personal quest your art quest to draw small or for example i think it would be cute because i already kind of draw small in my sketchbooks anyway uh, i usually have like an 8x8 illo sketchbook but now i have a 10x10 illo sketchbook now but what i thought would be interesting instead of doodling like little itty bitty characters on each page want it just be ex as acceptable like instead of putting five to six characters on one page wouldn't it be acceptable to get a little tiny sketchbook and fill up an entire page like i did with this little cork cork <laughs> and so yes i do think that drawing little on little sketchbooks can encourage you to draw little because your mind has to process and your creative part of your mind as well as the logical has to process I have to make these drawings fit and yes you can transfer that on to bigger sketchbooks for example now we're looking at my 10 by 10 illo sketchbook my personal goal 
with this sketchbook is to draw more, to like fill up pages more with instead of just one drawing because I've been so, so you saw what I did with the ballerina on the tone tan. That's basically what I do with my LO sketchbooks. Even though I have more room in my LO sketchbook, uh, sketchbooks, it has affected me to where my brain just naturally draws small in a 10 by 10 sketchbook. But now that I'm pushing myself to draw bigger, for example, this drawing of Jim and Pam from the office, yes, they are, they're full bodies. They're big, they're taking up the entire page. Do you see that? That's what I'm trying to say is that sketchbooks can recreate our minds to draw bigger or smaller or more detail. Now that I have this bigger sketchbook, I want to do more drawings on one page as opposed to just doing one drawing like I used to do in my five by eight tone tan sketchbooks. But yes, I think that sketchbooks, really important, they should be portable. I don't really agree with carrying around <laughs> um, an, AP, uh, an 18 by 20 sketchbook. I mean, you're going to have a lot of difficulty, but my fiance brought it up. It's just like, if you want to encourage yourself in drawing, make sure it fits into your backpack. All my 8x8 um, illos and this 10x10, 10 10, they all fit in my backpack and they go everywhere with me just because I want to get to them. Now, of course, the smaller sketchbooks can fit into your purses or your, or like the front of your backpacks or anything. I had a, um, I think it was a 5x8 moleskin that I did one Inktober and I remember taking that thing with me everywhere. When I say everywhere, I mean, I went to New York and I carried it in my little bag. It just, it fit, it was skinny, it was good paper and it went with me everywhere. The same with my Illo, the eight by eight Illo. Yes, that thing was super portable. It went with me everywhere. It did fit into some of my bags because I carry um, like a Kavu bag. Uh, I carried it in that. And then I carried it in a regular, um, I have a Haunted Mansion, Duty and Burke, but yes. Sketchbooks affect the way you draw. There's a little red moleskin, see? I filled that thing up crazy and it went with me everywhere. And then the Spirited Away drawing with Chihiro and the little dust mites, that's an eight by eight illo. And then of course, there's some of the typography I did in my little one. So if you're looking for a way to change the size that you draw in, then pick a new sketchbook. Get something that's smaller or bigger. For example, there's my 10 by 10 sketchbook. It's encouraging me to draw bigger and more detailed or more fuller bodies. As in fuller bodies, draw the entire full body. Sketchbooks can help you fix the way that you draw when it comes to size. But yes, guys, leave in the comments down below if you agree with this or if you want to change up the size of your sketchbook. I'll see y'all later. Bye.